for 1,800 years, the church has known that they would go through the tribulation. And that after that is when they'd be caught up to the Lord. But in 1830, John Nelson Darby hatched out a new idea. The church is going to be raptured before the tribulation. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but shall be turned to fables. What does Matthew Henry's commentary say about a pre-trib rapture? Why doesn't he even mention it one way or the other? Why? Matthew Henry's commentary came out a hundred years before the rapture fable. He'd never even heard of a pre-trib rapture. John Calvin, John Wesley, John Gill, any commentary written before 1830, you're not going to find one mention of a pre-trib rapture. Immediately after the tribulation, the Son of Man comes and gathers the elect. Where does God say that immediately before the tribulation, He comes and gathers the elect? Where? Fable says, that the church is going to be raptured out and then seven years later, destruction. But the Son of God says, no. It's going to be like it was in the days of Noah and in the days of Lot. Noah was taken up in a boat. And then the flood came. Lot was taken out of Sodom. In the same day, fire and brimstone fell. church is going to be taken out of the world. In the same day, fire and brimstone is going to fall. Everybody that's left on the earth is going to be destroyed. Same as it was in the days of Noah. 